Hello and welcome to the 10 incredible tricks with water. Do you believe in magic? No? So you should. If you cool down the water lower than freezing point, water will transform into supercooled water. If there are not points of crystallization in water, it can turn into ice. So this water can be liquid even on negative temperature, but if you shake or punch it, a dozen of bubbles of air will be created, and they will serve as crystallization points for water, and it will instantly turn into ice. This trick needs an ultra-pure water. By the way, instant freezing is working even if I shoot supercooled water. Supercooled water will freeze if you lick it on ice. There is no magic too. Do you know why it's not recommend to heat water in the microwave oven? Here is an answer. If water will be heated up over the boiling point, it can explosively boil when you put something in. You can hurt yourself, so don't try it, please. Maybe you know about experiment with expanding a light in a rainbow by passing it through the prism. This experiment can be carried out at home. All we need is a pen with water and mirror, fixed by tape. Place it on the sunlight and fill pen with water. Face mirror to the sun, correct its position to see a sunbeam and wait for the water to calm down. And now you can see a little home rainbow. Colorless sunlight consists of bright colorful beams, and by this way you can see it. As you can remember my video about vacuum chamber, the boiling point of water is diminishing under low pressure. To wash this, you don't need a vacuum chamber. Take a syringe, fill it with water, get rid of all bubbles and pull up the piston. There will be a vacuum inside and water will start to boil at the room temperature. Because boiling is intensive vaporizing water inside itself, there is a vapor inside these bubbles. Fill a glass with water and place sheet of paper on it, then shortly flip the glass upside down. The water will not leak out, because the atmospheric pressure will press the paper. Oh shit! Practice a little before demonstration and use thick paper or plastic cut instead of thin paper. This experiment will show you optical properties of water. The arrow points left now. But when I fill this glass with water, the arrow will point right. The next trick is my favorite one. I call it water mindfuck. To make it you need a PC or smartphone with sound frequency generator application and subwoofer. Take off the speaker and fix it on subwoofer body with two side tape. Now I'm connecting the tube to the water tap. And another end of the tube to the speaker. Turn on water flow and tune frequency up. It seems like time is stopped. But it's just a trick with your eyes and trick with my camera. My camera is recording 30 frames per second and if I set the same frequency, Camera will capture the same position of water in each frame. But if I tune frequency a little, the water will start flow in or out the tube. Incredible! To make you sure that it is not the after effects or other processing, I show you this water through the camera of my smartphone. What do you think? Can a needle float on the water? Let's try. So, it can. Because of water skin stretch effect. There is another way to put a needle on water. Place a piece of toilet paper on water's surface and then the needle. Then carefully make paper drown and needle will float on the water surface. Another cool trick with skin stretch effect. 
smear a match or toothpick with soap and then launch this motorboard on water. Why motorboard? Just watch! Also, you can use resin instead of soap. Please leave a comment which trick is your favorite one and watch previous water episode. It's about destruction and explosion abilities of water. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you later.